Have you ever considered using PEX to set up an entire shop air system? Well, today we're going to do that. We're using half inch PEX with a conglomeration of PEX fittings, brass fittings, galvanized, and a stupid simple tool dryer hooked up to our 60 gallon compressor. So let's get to it. So we're up against a couple things first. You can see behind me with the 60 gallon 220 compressor and outlet is half inch. We have to go from a half inch down to a 3 8 which 3 8 is my adapted thread on the hose, the whip hose that I have going to the Megaflow. The Megaflow does come with a 3 quarter inch inlet, but we're going to neck that down to 3 8 So 3 8 line in to a 3 quarter inch adapter straight into the Megaflow here. On the other side of the mega float, we do have a three quarter into a half inch PEX, so that is very simple. After the mega flow, everything will be half inch PEX from there with multiple connections, but that'll come later. So we're going to set up our stupid simple tool mega flow first, and what we're doing is we're taking our three quarter into three eighths adapter. This guy will screw in straight here, so then our hose, this is the closest one I have, here will then thread directly into this. So now this side can thread into the compressor. Let's get it going. All right, so now we're actually at the compressor. We're gonna hook up our half inch to our 3 8 adapter into the half inch shutoff. And that's gonna go right in here. Let's make it happen. All right, so I'm sure I'm not doing this right. First, my hose for my compressor to the dryer, it's not a good hose, but it's all I have for right now, and I'm gonna move forward and replace it later. Uh, next, we're gonna do our PEX off the dryer, 90 degree turn straight up in the ceiling, and from there, we're gonna use this uh, bin support, they call it. Um, it's a pretty interesting thing. It just really snaps over top of it and keeps it at a direct 90. It's got this nice little screw hole. Um, on the side so we can attach it to the wall and get that good 90 and shoot it straight into the attic and then from there we'll just figure it out that's all I can say All right guys, we're back at the bench and this is what we're going to do to get from the attic into the shop room. What we have is we have a elbow 90 here with a threaded half inch. We have a half inch to quarter adapter. This will thread straight into here. Brass to galvanized and now we have a galvanized quarter inch, three inch pipe. Which the goal here is to get this pipe to come through the drywall, drop down into the room, which then we're going to use a quick disconnect that we're going to thread into the end here. So everything in the shop will then be able to have its own auto shut off on and off without actually having a lever shut on and off. So if you need to address a hose reel or a tool, you can just disconnect it here. Yes, you'll need a ladder to get to the ceiling and drop it out, but that's a small inconvenience compared to having to put a shut off in every single one. We plan to have four in here Two for the two cord reels, one over top of the CNC, and another over here by the door. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right, let's talk about what's going on. So we have our manifold that we've set up and all our pieces and how we've done it. We're gonna to go to the attic and drop this guy through the ceiling into the room here. We have our blocking that's gonna to attach to the top and then connect to the top of our joist. So we just have a little bit of rigidity and that way it can't shove up in the ceiling or fall down with the pressure of the, or the tension of the line. 
After that, we're going to have our main trunk line, which we ran through the ceiling, and that's going to come straight down to between this joist. Our main trunk line is going to come in and out with the T that's going to connect directly into our manifold. Let's make it happen. All right guys, that is a wrap on the Full Shop PEX line air compressor setup. And I am so thrilled. It was straightforward, pretty easy to set up except for the manifolds, which hopefully I laid out the parts for you. If you have any questions, all the products will be in the show notes. And feel free to ask in the comments below. If I can help, I'm happy to. One thing I'll leave you guys with is this inline blower that I found. I'm pretty stoked over it. So it connects to your hose reel or anything else and you have your blower always on hand. And you still have your quick disconnect that you can hook straight up to any other tool, nailer, or what you may have. Again, my name is Trey with Handcrafted by Trey. Hopefully this helps you guys set up your own shop in the future.